Hello friends, my friends of awesomeness. Um, I am going to experiment today, um, obviously with my little blow dryer. Um, I'm going to attempt a little, like a pinwheel on this. I love how Claire from uh, Rainbow Acrylics, she comes up with some really fun things to do with her blow dryer. And I'm just going to try to do something even remotely close to one of them that she's done. Not copying her, I'm just saying, you know, she gave me some inspiration on this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, hopefully my paints are the good consistency needed. Um, but I'm going to pour some paints down on this and see if I can get... Um, like a like a pinwheel effect on this so all right the first one I'm going to put down is Holbein Phalo Turquoise and I'm going to I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the center first this is Porash Posse Snow White Iridescent Pearl just in the center so I have a good center for me to go by and I'm pretty sure that's in the center yeah I think so and then I think around that shake 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 I'm gonna put a lighter color here just in a little circle around it this is gonna give me a point of reference okay let's get going whole bind phalo turquoise yeah, and I'm going to go out like that. Yeah, something similar, just like that. And um, I'm going to go wider next to that. This is a Holbein uh, Aqua Blue. And in case I didn't mention, this is a 14 by 14 inch canvas here. And I'll be filling in all these spots. And one of my favorites next is another Holbein paint. And that is Holbein Luminous Opera. Truly is one of my favorites by Holbein. All my all those paints by Holbein are fun to work with. They're very highly pigmented. They've got some really awesome colors. Just saying. One of my favorites. Oops, I'm knocking them around. I've got paint everywhere already, guys. And next up is Golden's Phalo Turquoise. And continuing in my pinwheel motion here. <laughs> I do, I got stuff everywhere. Eeks. All right, another Holbein favorite Holbein Luminous Rose. That's not coming out very good. Yeah. Not smart. All right. Going back to a, a green blue by Pebio. It's an iridescent green blue. I've got um, marbles in the bottom of these bottles, and sometimes it stops me from coming out very well. And then I'm going to go to a lighter color. Is that Golden's Light Phalo Green? Come on, you can do it. Look at that. It just, I have to hold it more of an angle, I guess. <laughs> don't do that I think I'm done with that one okay 
So I think I'm going to rotate this back to a Holbein Aqua blue. And then what we'll do is I'll just go back and fill these in. Because I love this color, we're going back to this. And then to the phalo, <laughs> it's all over me already. That's just how I paint. I try to stay clean, it just doesn't work. Now what I'm gonna do on this is throw in some um, of that Porage Posse. Come on, you can do it. That um, I put in the center, the Snow White. Whoa, where am I, where am I, I lost track. Okay, I'm right here. Now I'm gonna put in that, what I started to say was the Snow White Iridescent Pearl by Porage Posse. If I can get it to come out, my goodness. Why am I having such problems with these bottles today? Maybe I got some gook in them. There we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through. I'm gonna fill in some of these spots with this white. And this is more than enough paint on here because once I get to blowing it, it'll be just fine. I think that's good. Put some in the corners. Then let's get out the dirt blow dryer and see how this is gonna work. Now, it's an experiment, guys, so I'm just playing around with this. I had a lot of bubbles. I'm shaking that up might not work at all but we're gonna give it a shot and like I said I may have too much paint on this already but we'll see okay how to blow this out colors love the colors together I splatter paint everywhere because I had to turn it on high and with all that paint on the canvas you wouldn't think I would have had to but um, I think my paints were a little bit thicker than they should have been oh we got a little got a little spot over there come on let's make sure we got it all going off the canvas there and I can work on my sides later. Now, let me wipe my hands off and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to that center. Okay, the sides are fixed. And I'm going to try to do something in the center here. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Okay, so, I am gonna try to do a little bit of the bloom here. Just a little bit. Not sure how it's gonna work out, but we'll see. I think, what color do I wanna put on that? Maybe this. Okay. And I have some cell activator here. I'm gonna use white cell activator. On just a little bit. Okay, let's see what I can do.
that's all I'm gonna do I do not want to overdo that maybe maybe a little bit of that I don't want to overdo that center because I don't want it to take over and flow out like that. So, all right. Um, I think I'm going to give it another torch. If I can find what I did with my torch. My torches are kicking out on me here. Okay. And um, I'll bring you down for a close-up, okay? Okay, here is the wet results. I totally apologize for the glare on this. Can't be helped when you're showing the wet results and you've got the studio lights on, you're gonna get glare. But I wanted to bring you down closer and show you some of the um, fun parts of this. The Holbein paints never cease to amaze me. They almost give a three-dimensional effect. I've got some really fun cells and lacing in this. Mm -hmm, loving it. Look at that. It looks three-dimensional in some areas, quite frankly, if you kind of can tell that when the Luminous Opera gets next to a dark color. And I've said that in previous videos too. So, yes, there's some fun areas. And then there's the middle where I did that little bloom. That's fun. Um, it's not exactly looking to me like a pinwheel, um, but it's something for me to work on, you know? Um, first one that I've tried, so, yeah. So Claire from Rainbow Acrylics, thanks for the inspiration. If you have not seen her, you need to go to her channel and check her out. She's got some really, really fun thing that she does with paints and a blow dryer. So thank you for joining me. Take care, y'all. Be good to each other. And I'll see you, hopefully, in my next video. Bye-bye.